Hi, it's Patty Sokol again with another do-it-yourself project for recycling and repurposing your old art. I photocopied the encaustic piece that I had done and I'm going to just tear the edges to the size that I want to use on my project. I'm going to take cardstock and use gesso with an old key card. Um, to smooth the gesso all over and add uh, texture and weight to the cardstock so that I can easily collage the elements onto the cardstock. Take the elements that you want to use and play around with them to see if you can find the most pleasing arrangement that you like for your composition. For the background layer, I use just a light wash of uh, fluid acrylic. You can use watercolor also. And then I take my collage elements and I already know the composition, so I just use uh, Liquitex matte medium. You can use whatever glue that you prefer and uh, use it underneath the elements and on top to really seal it. You can speed up the process of drawing with a heat gun. I use a variety of markers to add details and emphasize certain elements in all of my work. On this particular project, I'm using a combination of Tombow USA dual brush, dual brush markers, which are watercolor markers that you can actually blend with your hands, your fingers, when they're wet. And um, to the right, you can see I have uh, different colors of Molotow markers, which are acrylic markers. And then I'm also going to use uh, Liquitex, an acrylic paint um, marker. Um, the splatters in the background are um, done with a mister that I filled with Liquitex acrylic ink and sepia. And I mixed it up with water and just spritzed it on and allowed it to dry. I'm edging the project right now with the Liquitex paint marker. And then I will later go back in with a uh, Montana marker to add highlights and further define certain areas. When I go back and I look at my projects before I started adding the marker highlights and shadows and definition, I find it very obvious that the project's not finished. But that's my personal style. And creating art is all about expressing yourself and your personality. And if you don't feel comfortable using markers, then don't use them. But do something that you feel defines your style and your take on whatever it is that you create, because that's what art should be about, in my opinion. I was told a long time ago that there are no right and wrong things to do in art. And I'm a big believer in that. There's no rules. You do what works for you. And that's why I love being a mixed media artist. Because you take what you like, combine what you like, hopefully chemically it works together, but it becomes your take on what works for you. And that's how it should be. So I hope this inspired you to try your take.